In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you clean sandpaper with an old shoe? Well, we're going to find out, and we're going to do it right now. A while back, I made a video on how to clean sandpaper and keep your sandpaper uh, lasting a little longer. And in that video, I used this PowerTech abrasive stick and it works great. If you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and I got a lot of comments saying you can just use an old shoe. So I thought that was interesting. Makes sense to me. You have a, a rubber um, bottom here. This one doesn't have as much material as a regular sneaker like this. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that it's going to work the same way. So what I'm going to do is gunk up this sandpaper and put the theory to the test. Will this shoe clean that sandpaper? I'm going to use the same piece of wood that I used in the other video. This is a piece of oak with some varnish on it. So it should gunk up the sandpaper pretty good. Always wear a mask. This is what the sandpaper looks like now. Pretty new. Not brand new, but pretty new. I'm going to secure this so it doesn't go flying. You know what? My workbench looks like it could use a good cleaning. So we'll sand that down. All right, this isn't working the way I had hoped. Uh, so we're going to use a log. Hopefully we'll get some pitch in here um, and this will help to, to gunk it up real good. Okay, took some doing, but that's pretty good right there. So let me clean this up and we'll put that shoe to the test. Here's a little bonus for you. How to turn your belt sander into a bench sander. All you need is some long screws and a screw gun. Put a couple screws and some points that'll hold this in place. can press the trigger and hold down the lock and this will be a bench sander. Okay, moment of truth. The sandpaper is going to go this way, so I want to run my sneaker or shoe like this at an angle and we'll see if this cleans the sandpaper. Wow, that worked better than expected. You can see here, I've worn off quite a bit of the shoe. Uh, let me flip the sandpaper and see if I can get the rest of this junk off. Okay, now the sandpaper is going to spin in the opposite direction, basically. It'll be spinning the same way, but I flipped it. Um, so here we go. Try and clean the rest of it.
okay. So, not bad. Not bad, there's still some stuff in here. So, why don't I just try the stick and see if I can actually get that stuff. That will, uh, that will tell me if this works better than a shoe. Or maybe I'm using the wrong shoe. Why don't you let me know? Well, I think that's pretty obvious that this <laughs> works better than an old shoe. But it did work. If you're in a bind, I guess, and you have some old shoes on and you really need to finish sanding something at the job site or something, um, a shoe would work. But you could clearly see when I put this on here at the end, this is the winner. So very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to have a little fun and try out the shoe method since so many people were commenting on it. And you're right, it does work, but I think this thing works a little better. But that was fun. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Maybe there's another method that you use. We can try that out. If you wanna see more videos like this, you can click hereish and hereish and go check those out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it if you enjoy this type of content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.